Hi, this is Exploring with Emma Stu, back on another mudlark. Yep, yeah, today we are actually at Tilbury, um, opposed to East Tilbury, where we normally start. But I'll be honest with you, we're probably going to end up back at East Tilbury. Very likely. Uh, we've not seen anything along around here at the moment, it's just mostly mud. No. <laughs> but uh, anyway, well, let's get going and see what we can actually find. And uh, actually, I don't know if you can see all this broken glass here, but there's all sorts of bits and pieces here. And today we are looking for beads again, hopefully. Um, I'm actually after some nice sea glass, which I don't normally look for, but I've got a little bit of an idea of a project maybe to make. And just anything else nice maybe that we find, buttons, like I said, beads, bottle stops, don't really know, whatever takes our fancy. So Stu's already made a start over there. So uh, let's get going. our first bead find of the day. Can you see it? Just there. Nice little red one. Um, quite similar to one of the ones I got last time we were here. So I'm definitely going to take that one and see what else I can find. Shouting about something over here. Look at that. What have you found? Oh, oh what? Stop. See, I was in heading up that way. I would have found that. Bottle stop day. So that's two so <laughs> far. Really, really happy. Brilliant. Just to prove it's... There you go. That oh, one's on, more aqua than the other one. Wow. So see, I want a jar full of these to find display. So keep going. I'm going. <laughs> oh, so this is quite exciting. I think I've just spotted... I might be wrong. <laughs> what might be my very first marble? And that is without a doubt. It's actually a marble. Oh Let's my god, you actually off. found a marble. Brilliant stuff. It certainly is. Let's see if we can. It's got some lovely colours in it. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some swirly colours in it. So it's not from a cod bottle or anything like that. But wow, that's the first one I've ever found. Brilliant. Quite impressed with that. Spot the find. My time to find one. Can you see it? Can you see it? Hey, yeah. got a bottle stop. <laughs> now it's not as nice as the one that Stu found. That is a nice one. And it is a bit though. broken. Still a bottle stop? Yeah. Well done, Emma. Oh, I'm still happy enough with that. Fantastic. All right, let's keep going. Tiny, tiny little bead. Again, nice little glass one. Um, yeah, beautiful little aqua teal colour, that one. Just spotted a nice little pipe stem, I do believe. Uh, again, they're always worn out along here, but always nice to pick up anyway. spotted a, a little find that actually are very, very common but I've never actually found one before. You see this one? It's a, um, let's get it up to the light a bit more for you. It is actually just a vulcanite bottle stop but it's one of the ones that, well we always find round ones so this is quite nice. Um, but yeah, the first of many hopefully. So I've just spotted a little something and I'm not sure but I think that this might be a teeny tiny little bead. 
It's definitely made of glass. Uh, sorry, not the best to focus there. Um, I can't remember what these are called, but uh, it's definitely got a hole in it and it's definitely made of glass. So I'm going to take it anyway, do a bit of research and see if I can find out. And also, what's this? Oh, and the little bottles that I like. Ah, oh, unfortunately that one's broken, so I won't take that one today, but certainly a few little bits and pieces to see along here if you've got good eyes but the wind is so bad today that we're actually struggling quite a bit my hair's all in my face and that doesn't help but uh, still we'll carry on so I've just spotted something quite interesting and I've, I'll be honest with you I haven't got a clue what it is It's definitely made of clay, just check, yep, some sort of clay or porcelain, I have no idea. Um, anybody, anybody, oh, it's quite lightweight as you can tell, anybody got any ideas? Um, comment below, I'd be quite interested to find out. the most beautiful little bead. Look, a lovely little turquoise one. That is really quite lovely. Let me see if I can show you better. Uh, I think it's about to rain and the sun's gone in. <laughs> but it's got a lovely turquoise colour to it. That's really beautiful. And that will certainly uh, fill up a little bit of our of our bracelet. So, um, good little spot for beads this. I think we'll keep looking. Yay, I've just spotted something that I always like to come away with. <laughs> Again, it's not the find of the century, yeah. but a uh, nice vulcanite lid. Oh, this one has actually got some writing on it. Um, W.A. Wilson, London. Fantastic. Um, I'll see if I can take some better photographs of that and put in at the end. <laughs> yeah, here's something funny. Look, while Stu's not about. See these teapots? there's a couple of them, teapot spouts. When we first found these, the first time we came here, Stu actually thought that it was like an old, old pipe or something, which was really hilarious. Now I'm sure he won't thank me for telling you that, but um, I couldn't not, it was so funny. <laughs> so we've just come along the part of the foreshore here which is really it's not a pretty sight if i'm honest with you um there's been a lot of digging that's gone on here since the last time we were here but it's always worth having a little look at the debris uh, discarded bits and pieces that clearly the bottle diggers didn't want and sometimes sometimes we find a few things and i've just spotted this um we just bring it out into the light which california fig syrup uh, they're quite common um but this one's got some lovely iridescence on it look you can see that uh, I'll ask Stu if you might be interested in it um, and, but also I think I spotted first a tiny 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 little find here look it's like a little drop droplet on a piece of wire not quite sure what that is uh, maybe it's off a chandelier or I don't think it's an, an earring or anything but I might clean it up and, and have a look um, but we'll carry on having a little look just to, like I said, to see him whatever's been discarded by these bottle diggers sometimes this, like I've said in the past the things that maybe they don't want we might be interested and uh, it's, it's worth just having a little peek in some of these holes sometimes uh, as, I, as I call them for the common and undesirable bottles but now and again like the old fig syrup <laughs> we'll have them
What's this? Uh, Sloan's. Oh, let me just clear that off. Liniment. Oh, I've heard of that one, but I've not actually found it before. Uh, screw tops, I won't take it, but it's worth having a little look. I believe some sort of medicine or something, probably. <laughs> but there you go. I'll put it back with the other discarded and unwanted bottles. So finally caught him up. <laughs> oh, that's a real shame. It wasn't supposed to be as windy as it is today, but oh well, it is what it is. It's still been a good day though. Let's have a look and see what he's found, shall we? Have you found much? Well, I've got like a little 1950s perfume bottle. It's nothing special. Quite nice. Also found two. No, there's nothing on it, it's only labelled. I also found two poison bottles which I'll be showing on the roundup. They're in my bag and I've got to take everything off. Oh, very nice. And I found a couple of really good good um, conditions. Bottle stops, but uh, this one's broken, but I think it's still pretty cool though. I think that's probably been our best day actually for bottle stops. Bottle stops, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we're just going, I'm just going for it. You're not seeing me much on the video today because the camera, the DJI camera that we bought, needs a mic. This is really windy. It might yeah. sound like we're shouting, but the other one is fine. But yeah, well, I, I, as you may have seen a second ago, I'm holding the microphone. <laughs> or you wouldn't hear a word that I've just said. No, either. exactly. Oh, anyway, I think we're just about done now, aren't we? Yeah, so we'll say goodbye at the car, I reckon, before we leave to go home. Right. All right, see you later. See you in a bit. Just scraping away amongst the stones here and we found, well, you couldn't come here, I suppose, without finding one of these uh, little collar clip button things. But the only one we found today, which is uh, unusual because we found loads last time. Still, we'll add that to the collection, I suppose. So, we're back at the car. Uh, engine's running, you probably can hear yeah. that. We're at um, Co-House Just outside Sport. Co House Sport, yeah, really glad to get out that blooming wind. Yeah. No wind at all here. <laughs> Upcoming video will be um, a part of the battery, which, which we did do today as well. Yeah, there's a quick fire battery here that we've made a little bit of video about, hopefully, if we've not already released that. Yeah. But it's been a really good day, isn't it? Yes, it has. Um, nice little box of finds that Stu's going to show you when we get back home, I think, with one of his little fancy roundups. Yep, so <laughs> uh, hang on to your hats and wait for the roundup. But as from exploring with Em and Stu, yep, here we'll say it. goodbye. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.
If you like this video, please subscribe from the link above. And if you want to see some more content from us, we also have a Patreon, which you can join for just £3 a month. There's loads of videos already on there with new ones every week. Uh, so we always appreciate your support, so please take a look.